Welcome to the Insider Post Game Wrap. I'm Jared Johnson, and boy, it wasn't pretty at all. As a matter of fact, Texas Tech, honestly, they escaped with a 35-33 victory against Houston Baptist, an FCS school that just started playing football in 2014. So that's the reality of it. But the Red Raiders are 1-0. Um, a lot of the questions coming into this game, honestly, remain unanswered other than unless you want to answer them in the negative. I mean, the big concern for me, no doubt, was the secondary. And, man, Bailey Zappi, Houston Baptist's quarterback, just lit Tech up, to be honest. Uh, just looking at, looking at his stats, he finished 30 for 49 for 567 yards, four touchdowns, didn't throw an interception. Now, Tech did stop him on that two-point conversion with about three and a half minutes left in, in order to preserve the victory. But, uh, you know, those questions remain about that secondary. I asked Coach Matt Wells in the post-game presser uh, via Zoom, uh, you know, about the secondary and how, why Houston Baptist's receivers were running so open, uh, you know, wide open for really the whole game. And he didn't really have an answer other than they kind of got down. They lost some confidence early and they were never really to, to able to bring that back, to get back uh, over the hump. And, you know, other than a couple of plays made by guys like Krishan Merriweather on defense and uh, you know, McPherson, uh, Zach McPherson did get an interception. It was a crucial interception down uh, in the end zone on really an ill-conceived, I think it was a, a receiver uh, reverse pass. I mean, they were having enough success with Zappi. I don't know why you take the ball out of his hands, but hey, Zach McPherson, Zach McPherson came up with a big play there. He struggled for the most part on the night, but that was a big play. Krishan Merriweather led the team with tackles. I believe he had 12, including a crucial fourth down stop inside the five yard line. Uh, to uh, to keep the Huskies out of the end zone and preserve a 21-10 victory at the or uh, lead at the half for Texas Tech. Now at one point Houston Baptist scored 17 unanswered points, but I got to give it to Alan Bowman in the offense because they did come back. Um, they did score, put up some big points in the second half in order to get the victory. As a matter of fact, Alan Bowman finished uh, 38 for 52 with 430 yards, two touchdowns, uh, one interception early, and he ran three times for 21 yards, including a crucial third down run, which picked up a first down uh, for a little like around 10 or 11 yards. So, I mean, look, Bowman missed some passes. He wasn't perfect. I completely understand the criticism that he has received and is going to receive after this game, but he did make some big plays as well. To, uh, as well, he made some good throws. Uh, and I tell you what, on a positive note, you know, I know it was Houston Baptist, but I thought the running backs looked really good. So Roderick Thompson uh, rushed 22 times for 118 yards and two touchdowns. Uh, Taj Brooks, uh, the freshman running back, got in. He ran for 25 yards and a touchdown. Caught a couple other passes for over 20 yards. Um, I thought Jalen Polk is another true freshman, a receiver who looked really good. TJ Vasher caught a lot of passes. He had eight recept team high eight receptions, uh, 79 yards. Uh, Keyshawn Carter, man, get him the ball, please. Him and Dalton Rigdon. There's a couple of times th those guys ran wide open down the seam, and Bowman just missed him. He owned up to that in the post game, but uh, uh, when they when they did find both Dalton Rigdon and and uh, Keyshawn uh, Carter, they made big plays for for Texas Tech. So I, you know. They really need to go after that. I mean, Keyshawn had a big game against Texas last year in the season finale, 11 catches, 150 yards, and a touchdown. I hope he's featured against the Longhorns in a couple of weeks, who, oh, by the way, rolled over UTEP in their, their season opener as well tonight. So, uh, you know, I'm going to leave it at that. Um, very unsatisfying feeling, I, I imagine, for the Red Raider fans out there, but it's better than the loss that Iowa State and Kansas State's feeling. Now, they played better, probably better opponents than Texas Tech did, but Tech did get the win. Yeah, they have two weeks until they play, you know, Texas Longhorns here. I believe it's a 2:30 game here at the Jones uh, on September 26. So obviously that'll be a big game. If they're somehow able to pull off that upset, then this will be, you know, all will be forgotten here on this close win. But 35-33, Texas Tech opens the season, and I just want to say I want to close with saying, hey, I'm just glad they got to play. Yeah, we're unsatisfied, but. Uh, on the other hand, I'm really satisfied that there was football played here at the Jones. So with that, I want to thank you for watching, and until next time.